guys, this is Modesty33 here, aka Crystal with a C, and I'm back at you with another video. Um, by the time you're watching this video, I should have uploaded my other video, which was my London haul, which is quite long. I do apologize, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, or you know, hopefully you've already watched it, so you have you did enjoy it. So um, this is um, you'll see I'm in the same clothes on in the same spot on the couch. I just kind of moved. And shifted a lot of things around so this video is going to be a little bit more chill and relaxed believe it or not it's very hard to talk you know for 45 minutes essentially i talked that whole video that whole last video about the things that i got from london and kind of maneuvering with one hand and kind of showing you guys all the stuff so that's a little difficult I mean, again i'm excited about when i get my tripod so that will make things a little bit easier so i'm very excited about that whenever that comes in but um yes so this video here you guys um i'm gonna be doing like a review of the bags that i carried with me for travel and just kind of letting you know how they performed um would i use these bags again um or if there's anything else additional that i would um if there's any other bag that i would use so um, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. And definitely, if you've not already subscribed, please hit the red button below and subscribe to my channel. Definitely hit the bell so you're notified of any videos that I'm posting, which I've posted a lot of videos lately. So I'm just kind of wanting to get out these kind of next upcoming videos that I'm going to be posting. So it may seem like saturation on the modesty 33 channel so if you hit that red bell if you hit that red button and you hit the bell you're gonna be getting dinged probably like a couple times a day about videos that i'm trying to post and get out because i'm trying to clear off my camera which is actually aka my phone so i have like my deactivated phone and then i have my phone right now that i'm filming on um and that's i'm just kind of like been switching intermittently between both phones and kind of filming content but i'm trying to get all of the content or all the videos that i've been filming for the london vlogs and the haul um the other traveling that i've done i'm trying to get all that footage off of my phone so i can kind of start fresh and just kind of upload you know to date information or different things that i'm doing so that's what the goal is and that's why you'll probably see like yesterday i posted like four videos so um it won't always be like that but i'm just trying to catch up and get all of this content and all these videos off of my phone so hopefully you do enjoy the content you do enjoy the videos so you know i'm not gonna post all these videos and then disappear for like you know two three months i'm gonna be here um lord willing you know um so um but anyway i um just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up on that you know if you see a lot of videos that's kind of why i'm just trying to get the, the footage off of my camera because you know off of my phone rather because the phone does fill up and then they don't want to do nothing they don't want to act right once it gets full so that's what i'm trying to do so um definitely be patient with me and hopefully you do enjoy all the content that you're getting so again this video is going to be a review of my travel bag so i'm going to try to slow it down be a little bit more chill because i was just trying to hurry up and rush in the last video to show you all the things that i got from london um again make sure you watch that video it's a pretty in-depth haul so um but without further ado let me go ahead and show you my first bag which um like i already did a video which hopefully i don't know what order these videos are going to come out in but um i've already done a video about this bag right here and i did um a video um an unpacking video basically of what all i fit in this bag when i went traveling to london so i don't know when i'm gonna actually post that but um i'm gonna do a review so that's that's not what this video is gonna be um because clearly you see the bag is flat i've already unpacked everything but um i'm just gonna kind of talk about this bag and do like a review of how i felt this bag held up during travel so um basically i um use this bag um locally i use this bag kind of like as a work bag um, and it performs very well as a work bag. I really enjoy using it as a work bag to carry my laptop sometimes, my work laptop, um, as well as some other items, some files that I might need. Um, internationally, when I went to London, I was just wanting a backpack because I knew I was going to have my Keep All 50, so I was already going to have a shoulder bag. So I didn't really want another shoulder bag because I felt like that might have been too much stress. 
So I said, okay, well, let me try to see about getting a, a backpack. I chose the Boss 4 backpack. Um, let me tell you what I really enjoyed about the Boss 4 backpack because I saw reviews about it. But I really enjoyed this side pocket right here where you could fit like a lot of items in here. Like you could fit like your wallet or your passport, which were some of the things that I did fit in this side pocket. But that's kind of what sold me on this bag. It doesn't have any interior pockets, but I have a Louis Vuitton No Way bag, which um, is very similar to this bag. It's a bucket bag, so it doesn't have any interior pockets as well. So I'm used to that. But um, what the bag does have, which is different from the other popular Louis Vuitton backpack, which is um, a Montserrat backpack, um, it has a lot of outside pockets. So I really was happy about that. It's got that one zipper compartment you'll see here on the side. It's got this other um, zipper compartment here, as well as another one here, in addition to the one that's on the side here. So you have a lot of exterior pockets. So some might find that to be a disadvantage if you're traveling because, you know, these are a lot of pockets, you know, especially if you're carrying this on your back um, and you're using two straps, which I did, you know, um, intermittently change between either two straps or having one strap. So depending on, you know, what I was carrying through the airport. So um, people might see this as a disadvantage because, you know, if um, you can't visibly see the outer pockets, you know, you're vulnerable to pickpocketers. Um, but I really wasn't worried about that to be honest, because in these outer two pockets, I carried like, um, you'll see that video. I may post that one before this one, as far as the things that I carried, but it wasn't anything important. It was like gum, um, my eyeglass cleaner, um, like my eyeglass cloths, um, mints. So if you stole that, then God bless you, you know, God bless you. It, it will be all right. Maybe you needed the mints. So, um, you know, with the side pocket here, there's a way to, it's closest to your body. So, and then it's not even really visible unless you kind of knew or you were looking real hard at this bag. So, um, you know, you would feel if somebody tried to unzip this side pocket, which was where, um, really I kept more of my, more of more of my items that I needed to keep secure, but I needed immediate access to. So I didn't keep anything important in these front two pockets. Um, more so the things that were here on the side, which were like my passport, things that I needed immediate access to or my boarding pass or my travel itinerary. Um, so that's kind of more so what I kept on this side pocket um, for the airport traveling. And, um, you know, on the interior, I had like some snacks. I had, you know, my um, plastic, um, my one quart bag of my liquids. Um, you know, just kind of things like that for travel. When we actually got to London, I did carry this bag around the majority of the time and I was not concerned about pickpocketers or anything like that. So I didn't wear it in the front of my body. I wore it like I typically wear a backpack. Number one, there were other people who were traveling with me. So, um, I really wasn't too worried necessarily because it wasn't like I was by myself or anything like that. So there were other people who were behind me, in front of me that, you know, went on this trip with. So wasn't worried about pickpocketers at all, um, for that reason. And then the other thing too, like I said, um, like, um, you know, everything that was important was really close to me and my body. So I really wasn't concerned about that. Um, so again, I wore this bag the majority of the trip. It performed very, very well. Um, you know, the straps are cloth. They're very comfortable. So, um, you know, for me, again, I thoroughly enjoyed this particular backpack. Maybe you want the Montserrat. The Montserrat backpack is a little bit cheaper than this one. Um, both backpacks are discontinued. They no longer sell them at Louis Vuitton. I did hear that they were gonna, um, like maybe bring out the Montserrat backpack again. I'm not for certain about that. But um, as far as I know, both of these backpacks are discontinued. Um, and another thing I liked about this backpack as opposed to the Montserrat backpack is the fact that the bottom is canvas. So like if you're in the airport and like this was like my personal item for the plane. So, you know, I put it on, you know, in front in the seat in front of me and it really, you know, it didn't bother me at all. Number one, the bag is used. So it's it's been used. So it, it, you know, it's not like it's a brand new bag or anything that you're putting on the floor. So, um, again, like it didn't bother me, but it really didn't bother me at all because, you know, the bottom is canvas. It's got that one leather strip across, but, you know, it didn't hurt the bag none to be on the floor. So 
that was it too and that's why um and then i knew that it rained a, a good bit in london as well so you know you see that this bag has leather trimmings but um the monterey backpack the the full bottom is leather kind of like the um louis vuitton no way that i have you know it's got a, a long leather strip at the bottom the whole base is leather so that's not a bag that you definitely you don't want to have that bag out in the elements because all your vachette leather will be um stained up so but you know this bag's got a pretty good patina so really wasn't worried about that so overall i would say with this bag um i give it two thumbs up y'all know my whole issue with the second thumb um you know i'm holding the camera or the phone so i can't show you my second thumb but um if i you know when i get my tripod i will be able to do the two thumbs up god be the glory but um i give this bag two thumbs up i would definitely take it on another international trip um because i enjoyed carrying it it was no trouble at all it really wasn't heavy at all um except when i was in customs when i was in customs and i had to hold this bag for like the hour and a half i was in customs like man i felt like i was gonna die because i was holding my keep all as well and i was just like oh lord jesus that was really the only time though when i had to stand for extended periods of time but again just to have as like a bag you're carrying around when you're traveling i thought it worked really really well so i would highly recommend this backpack if you are looking for a backpack or a luxury backpack to take with you and you're looking for one specifically from louis vuitton i would highly recommend this backpack um you can get it on the pre-love market i did get this particular backpack from ebay um this backpack has like a flaw um a little bit of a flaw you may or may not be able to tell but um there's like a little tear in the leather here i did take it to louis vuitton and they gave me a price to like replace all of this leather but again it's a backpack it 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 gets wear it gets tear you know as long as you know the leather don't crack it will be well so and the girl inspected the bag she was like you know it's a backpack um so she's like i wouldn't recommend replacing the leather at this time even though it's got that little tear so you know i'm gonna just hang on to it for a while i definitely am planning on keeping this in my collection i really enjoy this backpack um it's definitely become one of my favorites in my collection so and i didn't expect it to be because when i first got it i was like shoot my no way can fit more than this but this bag is it's surprising it actually does fit a lot it definitely will fit all of your necessities so um i'm gonna move on to another item that i use for travel um which may be unexpected to you know some because a lot of people rave about this item but you know they don't necessarily like talk about it as far as travel and i've got it in the pocket of my boss for a backpack um that's not where i carried it but um again um you know i highly recommend this backpack if you have any questions about this backpack specifically definitely put in the comment box below so i'm gonna be i'm gonna put this down because i'm done talking about this now so i'm gonna move on to the next item um but highly recommend the backpack next item is um what a lot of people have in their collection that people a lot of people on youtube rave about and i didn't i didn't get it i didn't see it but I've used this item like every day since I bought it. This is actually the first item that I bought from the Louis Vuitton store. Um, and I bought this in Charleston um, Memorial Day weekend of last year. And I've used it pretty much every day since. Um, right now it's carrying a little bit of cash, like $5 and some change in here. I've actually never used it like as a coin pouch. I typically use it for like my cards or my keys. But um, I have coins in here now. I'm using another one of my clays, which is an emprunt um, leather clay for like my keys and my cards now. But I'm just kind of using this one to carry some of my like loose chains and cash, um, even though I've got a round coin purse to do that as well. But I'm using that for another purpose. So anyway, this was a gem um, for this trip. And let me tell you why it was a gem. Hold on. Let me readjust, y'all. Oh, Lord. See, when you hold that thing for so long, it's like you be getting atrophy in your fingers. So we're going to have to come a little bit this way. Y'all see a little bit more of the decor in my home. So anyway, um, this item, let me tell you why it was a gem. This was a gem, and this is the Louis Vuitton key clay or key pouch. Um, and you can get this, yeah, you can get it pre-loved. You can get it from Louis Vuitton um store um this is probably one of their less expensive items um but it's still 
costly but um i really love it i've definitely gotten my money's worth out of this i've used it again like every day for one purpose or another since i bought it last memorial day weekend so um but this was a gem let me tell you why it was a gem because um with my backpack um i did not carry my a wallet within my backpack um because again like um like i said everything that was kind of important to me was very close to my body so what i did with my key clay was like um all the cash that i had like my cash and like my coins like my british pounds my they call them notes you know all of my notes um which are basically like your dollar bills um all of my notes and all of my um pence which are like your change you know your quarters dimes nickels but um you know what we would consider quarters dimes nickels but you know they call them pence so um all of my change and all of my notes i kept in my key clay and what i would do with my key clay is um uh, you know all the days that i was there except for like two days i wore um like jeans like either my capri jeans or i wore like my long jeans so um you know they had belt loops so i would um use this portion of the key clay and i would hook it to my belt loop and i would have it in the front and i would either kind of like tuck it in my pants or you know i might have like a longer shirt and you know it might hang from my belt loop but um i would keep all of my cash like in here and i would like put it on my belt loop so it's in front of me so again even if something happened with my backpack and somebody like stuck us up or you know stole my backpack i'm not without cash i still have my cash it's still on me um so i definitely recommend this or an item very similar to this um to carry on your person so you can have your cash you know you might be one of them old school mamas maybe you carry your stuff up in your bra still that's cool too but you know if you're not wanting to do that you know if you want to have something separate and you know carry your cash i definitely recommend this and like you know again it's got this little hook you can put it on your belt loop and it can be like you know very close to your body so definitely if somebody you know all up on you like that and you know somebody all up on you like that y'all need to be in covenant y'all need to be married um because yeah so um anyway i'm not gonna get into that but um yeah so um you would definitely feel my point is you would definitely feel if somebody was up you know up on you close enough to get access to you know your cash um you know if you had it on your belt loop in front of you you know not behind you but in front of you but um or if you have it tucked into your pants or what have you so this was a gem for me i definitely highly recommend this if you're looking for something luxury that you know you can use for multiple purposes um, because I definitely have used this for multiple purposes. It was definitely highly, highly useful when I was in London. So I definitely recommend this um, Louis Vuitton key clay or key pouch. So, and my last item. Um, well, I'm going to talk about two other items. Um, let me go ahead and talk about this one. And this is, I'm pulling it over here, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM. Now, when I got this bag originally, um, I got this bag June of last year. And this was actually the first bag that I saw someone do a review on. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that bag. It's so gorgeous. I want that bag. I will use that bag for travel. Like, I was so in love with this bag. You know, I still love the bag. Don't get me wrong. And I have used it for travel, but mostly for like, um, like trips. Like when I go home for the weekend and home is like Florida. Again, I live in South Carolina. Um, so when I go back home to visit my parents, I might take this bag and I can pack again like three days worth of clothes in this Neverfull GM. This is the GM Neverfull Damia B, in case you don't know. Um, now I know I'm kind of close, so you kind of see in the bag real close up. But um, I can pack three days worth of clothes and my toiletries all in this bag. So um, like, so this for me is a good like weekend bag. So um you know, I was expecting to like really use this bag when I went to London, but then I en then I ended up getting my Boss for a backpack and decided that I wanted to use a backpack. So I didn't end up using this at all, which was actually pretty surprising because that was the whole purpose kind of of me getting the bag when I originally thought about getting the bag. Um, not to say that this bag doesn't have any use because again, like when I go home for short trips, I can fit three days worth of clothes in here. I use this bag for work. Um, I also, um, yeah, I've used the bag for work, um, for short trips. Um, 
and that's pretty much it you know but it's it's definitely a useful bag i actually have been kind of thinking about using this bag you know tomorrow actually i'm in my speedy 35 right now um monogram my regular speedy thinking about actually you know using this bag and cinching in the size because it's not really for me an everyday bag because it's so big again i just told you i can fit three days worth of clothes in here but um i'm thinking about cinching in the size and kind of using it as like a little you know a little tote tomorrow so i'm kind of thinking about that i've gotten the itch for the never full so um I was, I was pretty surprised, though, that I didn't end up using this bag, but um, it's a very useful bag. If you're thinking about a travel bag, you don't mind a tote, definitely um, I would invest in this bag. I got this bag pre-loved from eBay last year in June, so it's, it's, it's been in my collection for a year now. It's gotten a lot of use, so I definitely say for me it was worth the money that I spent for it, which was not retail. Definitely wasn't retail. So, um, this is the other bag. It's got the beautiful red interior. It's got a, um, I have a base shaper in the bottom but it's got um a zipper pocket it's got the cursive writing here and it's got the fleur-de-lis um so it, you can tell it is the older model because the newer one has the block writing and it doesn't have the fleur-de-lis in here um so and the bag is kind of dirty in the bottom i do apologize for that if you can see it but um and this bag was made in the usa as well um, I don't know where the Boss 4 backpack was made. I actually have not. Well, I have looked at the date code, but I haven't concerned myself with it because I don't really care where the bags are made as long as they're authentic. So, anyway, um, I recommend the Neverfull GM for travel, but I just didn't use it for this trip because I was wanting a backpack. And the backpack ended up working out very, very well for me. So, the last bag I'm going to talk about is my Keep All 50 which is the newest bag in my collection, um, pre-loved anyway. Um, again, you will see, you know, I will post this video after I post my haul. So you see I have other newer bags in my collection. But um, this was the bag that I got before leaving for London. Um, I got this one from eBay. I got it from a Japanese seller. And it came in really good condition and it came with a dust bag as well. And this is the Keep All 50 Bandelier um and i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong that's how i hear other people say it don't 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 get mad at me um i did take this back to louis vuitton before i left um because i had this luggage tag i wanted to get it um hot stamped so they did hot stamp with um my one initial let me get a little bit closer c i know i hope you didn't get motion sickness because i did come in real close really quick so they did hot stamp it. well they did emboss it they didn't hot stamp it they embossed it with um c for crystal with the c so they did do that. Um, actually, initially, I went to the Louis Vuitton store um, in Charleston, um, like, back last month sometime. It was the beginning of last month. I went to the Louis Vuitton store because I was thinking about getting a keep all. I wasn't going to get a new, but I just wanted to look at it and see, you know, which keep all I wanted to get because I knew I didn't want the keep all 45 because that looked extremely small to me. You know, I have a speedy bandolier, like I have a regular speedy 35 and I have a speedy bandolier 35. So I'm like, that's just like 10 centimeters more than my, you know, than my speedy. Like where are they doing that at? That ain't going to fit nothing. So not for like an extended period of time, not for me anyway, maybe for you it will, but not for me. So, um, I wanted to get either, a, it was between for me a 50 or a 55. Um, I know that, you know, with international flights um, and, you know, looking at the cabin, you know, as far as a carry-on, because I was looking for a carry-on bag. I wasn't looking for nothing to be checked in. Not Definitely not no Louis Vuitton to be checked in. So I was looking and, you know, they said like a 55, you can have up to a 55. I thought about the 55. I was like, man, the 55 will hold more. I did try the 55 on in the store and I tried the 50 on in the store and I felt like the 50 was too small. I was like, man, I don't feel like this bag is big enough. I know that the girl who was helping me, who was very sweet, very nice, very patient, um, she said she had a 50 and it, you know, it, it held everything that she needed. It was a really good size. Um, you know, I was kind of thinking, I was still kind of like, oh, I don't really know. 50 or 55, I don't know. I had tried both of them on in the store and I felt like the 55 would have fit a bit more. But then I was like, you know, I'm trying to downsize. I'm trying not to carry so much stuff. So let me go ahead and get a 50. And then what I was thinking about too is with the, with the, you know, way things are going with society and, and 
all that you just don't really know because now they will allow you to have a carry-on bag that's you know 55 centimeters um but they might change that and so i was like you know if they change it one day i'm gonna have my 50 you know maybe you know so i know that a 50 will be good for domestic or international so um and it's, it's it will be good with every airline so i went ahead and got the 50 i'm very very happy i got the 50 y'all and let me tell you why because um the first flight that i took um because i took two flights in order to get to london i took one from south carolina to, to atlanta and i i flew out of a smaller airport and um so it was a smaller plane y'all like when that plane took off like i felt like i was in a helicopter like that plane jesus i don't know what to say about that i might I think I'm going to film another video talking about my, you know, experience going to the airport and flying for the first time in 10 years and what that was like, what had changed from what I remember. I probably will film a separate video about that if you're interested. If not, I'm just going to keep it moving and, um, you know, keep on keeping on doing my reviews and whatever else. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Um, I want to get the bag. Oh, it's so pretty in the line of vision. So, um, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all talk back to me. Let me know what you're interested in seeing, but, um, I can do a video about that for those of you who might be flying, who have never flown or who have not flown in a long time and kind of knowing what to expect. So anyway, um, I'm very, very glad I got the 50 because the plane that, um, I was in and the, you know, the airport is a small airport. The plane was a very small plane um and like the little area you know the, again that you store your carry-on above the seat was very tight so like you know like the bag isn't that big in the grand scheme of things but it's like the bag felt huge going through that little plane and then even like in coming off of the plane like i had to like use my strength to pull the bag out of the cabin area because the bag could fit in the cabin area but it just took a lot of maneuvering to get it out of that space. So I'm like, man, I can't imagine if I had gotten the 55, like I wouldn't have gotten that bag out of that space. Like I would have needed help. But, um, you know, to each their own, you can do what you like to do. But I think the 50 definitely is a good, decent size, especially with the strap. I definitely would not recommend getting this bag without the strap, the 50 or the 55, if you choose to get the 55. Um, but I definitely... Um, I'm glad that I got this bag. I think it, you know, worked really well. You know, I see a lot of people who had the rolling luggage, which I am going to get a rolling suitcase, um, for the next time I travel because, um, the other suitcase I had, that thing is in the dumpster. Like the trash people don't come today. They don't got that thing. That thing fell apart from the day I left. It kept falling apart and it's a miracle. It made it back to the States. Well, you know, you 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 made your last journey. You you going to the dumpster. You going to you going to luggage heaven. I don't know, but um, you completed your 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 job, your assignment. You got me there and back again. So I'm gonna have to invest in some um, more luggage, which will probably be like one of those like hard case, um, you know, luggages that can sustain a lot of use and abuse with the four wheels. That's the one I'm going to invest in next because a lot of people had those and they're just easier to kind of lug around. So, um, you know, I thought about getting one while I was there, but, um, I did and I said, no, I'm going to wait till I get back to the States. I'm just going to ride this out and hope that suitcase makes it, which it is. So I'm going to invest in one before I go anywhere else internationally or otherwise, um, that, you know, where I'm going to need more than my keep all 50 and, you know, another bag. So, um, anyway, um, you know, probably, um, I will get one of those suitcases, you know, whenever I travel again internationally and I will take my keep all 50 as well as my backpack. So that's what I'm kind of thinking about. Like, you know, whenever I travel next, I will kind of have that trio. That's going to be my combination for the next time because it worked really well this time around, except for my suitcase again falling apart. But otherwise, if I would have, you know, my little rolling suitcase, my hardcover with the four wheels, you couldn't tell me nothing about my life. It would have been a lot easier. I could have, you know, laid this um, 
keep all 50 on top of the suitcase and kind of you know roll it with the wheels and then what i did too is um if you'll notice on the back here there's this um like little clip here which is actually from my pochette accessoire this is the little leather piece that you get with the bag um i had it on here in case you know um like to kind of connect this to like loop it around my suitcase Oops, excuse me and um like loop it around my suitcase um and kind of carry it that way but that suitcase couldn't carry no more weight so i'm sorry y'all i'm adjusting but that yeah that suitcase couldn't carry no more weight so i couldn't do that so um i have other straps from my push it accessoire now so i'm probably going to keep that little leather piece on this bag and then whenever i get my new suitcase i can do that and kind of like loop um I can kind of loop that um, around so then, you know, this will sit on top of my new suitcase and then I'll have my backpack on my back and I'll be fly. I'll be good. Um, so again, that's kind of my review of these bags. I highly recommend to keep all 50. If you're thinking about the, keep, the 50 or the 55, um, you have to know your lifestyle. You got to know, you know, again, it's a big bag. The 55 definitely is a big bag. Like, I didn't think this was a big bag, but if you look at my haul, from the last video that I will have posted by the time this one goes up. All of that stuff that I showed you fit into this Keep All 50. I had to shove it in there, but it did zip up, y'all. So um, don't sleep on the Keep All 50. The Keep All 50 can hold a good bit of stuff. So um, I highly recommend the 50. I'm really, really glad. Thank you, God, that I got the 50 and not the 55. So I'm very grateful about that um so um again guys if you have any questions about any of the bags that i showed in this video um definitely comment below let me know what your thoughts are um what bags do you take with you when you travel if you have luxury bags do you take a backpack or do you take your never full or you know a long chomp um what bags do you take with you when you travel so just kind of comment below let me know very curious about that you know maybe there are you know other bags in my collection that i could take with me that i didn't consider so um you know let me know what bags you take with you um and i would greatly appreciate you know having that information and even other people who are watching this video will probably appreciate that information as well so thank you guys so very much for watching if you have any questions again put them um in the comment box below don't forget to subscribe to my channel um hit the bell also next to the subscribe button so you're notified when i upload future videos which i've been uploading a lot of videos lately you guys so hopefully um you can keep up because i am I'm going. I'm going with it. I'm going with this channel. I've got like 20 videos already posted and I've only been on YouTube for like a little over a month. So um, guys, keep up because I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. Like I just am going to pull out my phone and I'm just going to do it. So um, definitely keep up. Join me on this journey. Hit the bell so you're notified when I upload my next video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, and definitely share this video with anyone else that you know who might be interested in like luxury or how they can use their luxury bags when they go on vacation or when they take a flight. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and have a great day or great evening. Rest and wonderful day, you guys. Bye.